Well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, information is very powerful. People with power do not want you to have power. And if you read the newspaper article, <laughs> uh, I don't know if the, uh, the endocrinologist, I don't know if he was quoted as, or not, but the diabetes educator said, yeah, Dwayne, uh, he'll be back on insulin in, uh, in, a, in a few months. Yeah, five years ago, all right. Yep, still waiting. <laughs> Okay, all right, we spent uh, most of the morning focused on the pathology of type 2 diabetes to understand what actually causes the disease and why people remain in a diabetic state. This afternoon we're going to focus on the solution, how to actually beat this disease, how to turn your body into a fat burning machine. The first thing though, we're going to review my favorite foods. <laughs> well, actually, this is before the Brussels sprouts. This is before I got the knowledge. And uh, I, re I lovingly refer to these as the five dead foods. Number one, and none of, and none of the foods on this list should surprise anybody. Okay, number one is flour. 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 Flour exists in over 72% of the food in the grocery store. So, it is somewhat of a challenge to avoid the flour. And why do you want to avoid the flour? Two reasons. Number one, it contains gluten. And number two, it behaves and metabolizes in your body as sugar. Uh, starches are the same thing. Um, it metabolizes in your body as sugar. And those are some of my favorite foods. The rice. Oh, I love the. I used to love the white, the, the white, the white, the white rice with the butter on top. Hmm? And the uh, the mashed potatoes the, and the bread. Loved all those foods. And yeah, that also includes uh, the spaghetti, uh, the pasta, um, uh, all those all those good foods. Number two, of course, is sugar. But more importantly, it's high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup is 50 times more powerful than sugar. <laughs> you want to become diabetic? Just keep putting high fructose corn syrup into your body. I believe it was in 1952 when the government discovered that high fructose corn syrup causes diabetes in cows. Mm. So they stopped feeding the high fructose corn syrup to the cows. Where did the high fructose corn syrup go? Mm -hmm. Right, right. They started putting it in the food. So if you were able to track the content of food starting in, let's say, the late 1950s, or, uh, especially in the 70s, you'll see that the amount of high fructose corn syrup increased dramatically over the next two decades. And once we hit the 1990s, <laughs> we were all hooked on high fructose corn syrup. Um, but if you think about the name, it's ingenious, isn't it? Think about it. Fructose, okay, that's a sugar in fruit, sounds safe. Corn, oh, that's a vegetable. So the name doesn't sound like it's going to hurt you. <laughs> but high fructose corn syrup uh, will make you uh, <laughs> diabetic very, very quickly. Number three dead food. And I'm sure everyone is familiar with uh, our buddy trans fats. 
It's all over uh, CNN, it's all over television. Everyone knows uh, avoid the trans fats. Food manufacturers are a little disappointed that you have now figured out that trans fats are bad for you. And even the government is now saying we're going to outlaw trans fats or at least we're going to um, label them so that <laughs> if you look at a particular food, uh, if it says zero trans fats, then you know it doesn't have trans fats, right? No. Exactly. Oh, this is a smart audience. <laughs> I thought I'd see if I could trick you. Exactly. Just because it says no trans fats doesn't mean that it doesn't have it. Because the food manufacturers and the FDA agreed that if the amount of trans fat was less than 0 0.5 grams per serving, they could market it as no trans fats. <laughs> so when you see them cookies and they say no trans fat, and you eat 10 cookies, yeah, you probably uh, have consumed maybe, uh, maybe uh, 5 to 10 grams of uh, hydrogenated oil and you don't even know it. Number four, uh, you know, saturated fats. Um, and this is not all saturated fats because some saturated fats are actually good for you. But a lot of the conventional saturated fats um, and it's not that uh, beef is bad for you or chicken or, or so forth. It's just that the way the animals are raised today. If you go back in the 1950s, 1960s, a lot of people, when they ate animal meat, that animal meat came directly from a local farmer. That animal did not have growth hormones and steroids and antibiotics uh, in their body. Unfortunately, today, you're now consuming those same antibiotics, growth hormones, and um, steroids. Unless you decide to buy organic meat. Now, I'm not a vegetarian. I've got to have my meat. <laughs> um, but I just try to buy something that's a little uh, cleaner animal. And of course, number five, <laughs> drugs. Um, over-the-counter drugs, prescription drugs, recreational drugs, <laughs> not good for the body. And the key point to recognize about these uh, particular uh, five dead foods is that these foods wear out the insulin receptors and that's how we develop diabetes. Those insulin receptors, remember this morning I said the, the insulin receptors are like garage doors that open and close. Well if you're eating a lot of refined starches and refined carbohydrates, that garage door is working like crazy 24-7 and it, you wear it out. And if you're consuming trans fats, the trans fats make the garage door sticky. It makes your cells sticky. So it, the garage doors can't open and close smoothly. <laughs> yeah. Again, these are some of my uh, uh, favorite food combinations. Um, the combination of cereal, milk, toast, margarine, jelly, with a glass of bottled orange juice in the morning. <laughs> Have that every day for 20 years. <laughs> uh, the body just can't handle all that, uh, all that sugar. Um, another one, hash browns, pancakes, sausage, bacon, uh, toast, syrup, bottled apple juice. And again, it's the combination of those foods that eventually wears out your body. And again, these are, again, these are just some of my favorite meals. And, I, and dinner meal, I love uh, you know, mashed potatoes, and fried chicken, yeah, some cornbread, oh, a couple cobs of corn. And of course my uh, favorite uh, fast food uh, was pizza. I love pizza. I'm not, I'm not Italian, but I just love pizza. And I can eat a whole pizza. The large pizza with the double cheese. 
pepperoni, sausage. Um, you know that pan pizza? Oh yeah. Oh. Good stuff. Oh no, it's good stuff. Oh, I, just now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Twinkie. I grew up on Twinkies. Love Twinkies. <laughs> Ain't nothing in the Twinkie though. That, uh, that's food based. They're all chemicals. And if you take a Twinkie and leave it up all night, all week, all month, Twinkie will last forever. 